Hello friends and bienvenidos. This is going to be a way for me to document my journals in video. Why would I do that? Well, I'm a type 4 ENFP and I'm a compulsive overshare and I'm extremely extroverted and COVID-19 has made it so that I cannot see as many people as I need to see so this is going to be my new outlet and I apologize that I have to do this. I have resisted the urge for a while, but here I am. Welcome to Cafe Con Leche with the Poet Preacher. So I got a lawnmower a couple of weeks ago and the reason for that is because, well, let me just take you back to the beginning. In the beginning, Janice wanted a house. Bryant did not want a house. But Bryant wanted a third dog, a Saluki to be exact, and uh, Saluki is a hound, and it's the kind of hound that needs a lot of activity. So, I would take her to the dog parks, it'd be no problem for me, and then I would also do some walks in the, in the weekend. However, our other two dogs don't play well with other dogs, and the problem with the dog park is that you need to manage your own dogs, and the behaviors of other dogs, and the behaviors of other dog owners, because something happens when people go to the dog parks, I don't know, everyone becomes an idiot. Sorry, maybe you go to the dog park and check out. The point is, if you go to the dog park, you need to maintain your dog's behaviors, but it doesn't happen. It was I was mostly able to manage it, however, my wife was going crazy. So she said we needed a fenced yard, so we were looking for a house. We got a house, we got a yard. Happy wife, happy life. However, the yard we got is very rocky and on a slope, and honestly, it's just kind of dreadful. So what happened is that I contracted someone to do the yard work for me, to do the mowing of the lawn. And I understand that this is technically not a good usage of money, but my family worked very hard for me to be able to come to a place where I can hire other people to do that. <laughs> Sorry, that sounds kind of elitist. I'm doing this AeroPress thing. Where was I? Yeah, so uh, we got we got someone to do the yard work and they were doing it for a bit, but it was kind of inconsistent. And I think that my first mistake was to not get a contract. I'd have to re reach out to him and would then come and do it. After about a year or so of this kind of relationship, he just stopped coming and I was kind of concerned. So I reached out one more time and, he, and his guys came out one last time. And after that time, he called me like literally like 20 minutes after his guys finished and he broke up with me. Yeah, that's right. He broke up with me. I was devastated. And it spun me into an existential crisis. I had no idea what to do. I told Janice that we needed to sell this house and get a different house. And I told anyone who would listen to me that I that my lawn services guy had broken up with me and that I didn't know what I was going to do. And um, everyone just looked at me like, why don't you just buy a lawnmower? And of course, I didn't want to do this because I don't like to do chores. So fought and resisted and tried another person, but they also broke up with me. And he... Um, my dog, she wants to go out. Give me a second. All right, now that she's happily outside. So yeah, so on the 5th of July in 2020, in the last year of Donald Trump's reign, uh, I bought a lawnmower. I went to the Lowe's and stood in front of lawnmowers and read a lot of articles that I had already read, thought hard about an electric one, and then remembered how difficult my yard is and think I looked panicky. So this kind old man who worked at the Lowe's approached me and said, do you need help? And I was like, is this rear wheel drive lawnmower good for slo sloped yards? And he was like, yep. And then I was like, can I buy this? <laughs> he looked at me funnily and said, yeah. So I bought it, came home, read the manual, figured out how to unlatch it because it folded and it was kind of concerning how I couldn't figure out how to for a little while, but then I figured it out and I could begin to mow. Part of the reason that it took me so long to buy a lawnmower, besides the fact that I hate chores, is that for the first year and a half that I owned this house, I was traveling all the time. I love to travel and I love to moonlight as another kind of person in another world, like maybe a slightly racist Bostonian or a, a person from Denver that doesn't see color or, you know, someone in California who's vain and just trying to make it. <laughs> Obviously these are negative stereotypes, but you know what I mean. I like to go other places and pretend and imagine myself what it, what it would be like to live there. I don't want to live in Ottawa. I don't want to live in Tennessee. I've never, I never have and I don't think I will. Like it's 
a fine place for people who want to settle, for people who want to raise families, for people who are okay with only two and a half good restaurants. Um, and Chattanooga is a, is a cute town, but it doesn't really have a culture of any kind. I've been dissatisfied with where I've lived for the last couple of years. And the way that I've coped with it is by traveling as much as I can. And there was a good time there where like, I was traveling about two and a half times a month and it was amazing. Traveling on the company dollar is a vibe. I highly recommend it. But COVID-19 made it so that a lot of us had to be home a lot more. And as we did that, it kind of exposed us to have to take responsibility of our life in a way that maybe we hadn't before. Now, there's a lot of things that I had kind of been waiting because I'm like, oh, I'll just do that post COVID. I'll do that post COVID or, oh, this is just temporary. But it's September now. We've been doing this COVID-19 life adjustment thing since March. And I think I realized that if my yard was ever going to get mowed, I was going to have to take responsibility for it, that this was post COVID and that I needed to just own up the fact that it was either going to be done by my hands or not at all. And it was sad and I was frustrated and I didn't want to come to that conclusion, but eventually I did. I think I'm better for it. I hope so. If not, I at least know how to acquire a rear wheel drive lawnmower that can survive literally the worst yard ever known. So I guess where this journal trails off is um, maybe you have something that you've been putting off and you think that you can make that decision once post COVID comes around. But maybe this is post COVID and now you need to go ahead and buck up and figure out what that lawnmower in your life is. Or maybe you already did. Or maybe you don't own a house and you're smart. Friends, thank you for watching this episode of Café con Leche or my extroverted, out loud, visual journal, whatever we want to call it, I don't know. Uh, my goal is to get 12 likes on this video, so if you're watching it on YouTube, please give it a thumbs up. If you're watching it on another platform, just do the corresponding like feature. And uh, if you have anything that you want to know about me, uh, comment below and maybe I'll journal about it. Have a good day. Bye.